Howdy and hello, I'm Doe. Hope you're doing good. And today we have a guy for Zenyatta, a DPS disguised as a support in Overwatch 2. His damage is insane. The healing is, it's decent. Your main damage ability is going to be Orb of Destruction, two ways of firing it, both are projectile. The first is shooting them one at a time, your primary fire. Your secondary fire, the one I use more in my primary, oddly enough, is charging up to five orbs and shooting them in very quick succession. This is what you can use to snipe supports, DPS, be the anti-widow of the team, and just counter her like crazy. She's still discorded. Oh. And burst down tanks. It's crazy how much damage Zen can do when using this ability correctly. I do suggest charging it behind cover and not just in the open where you can get murked like crazy. There are some different, you know, stipulations, but most of the time charge it behind some kind of cover near a corner so people don't know you're charging it and so you don't die in the process. Zen's hitbox is massive. Abilities. Over Discord. You mark enemies for death. When they're marked by Discord, they take 25% more damage and to mark them, look at them and press the ability. If they're visible, they'll get marked and they will be taking more damage from you and your whole team. And there's actually two tips for Discord. One, I actually have one you can join if you want to. The other is it acts as pseudo wall hacks for Zen. Ooh. Okay, how about you Let's try go. Evo speed boosted on? How about you try and live in this? Look at this, bro. Peep this. Peep, peep, peep. Discord wall hack. Headshot. Diva on my Johnson. 7 HP. Oh my gosh, you're hot. Let's go! You can see enemies that are marked through walls and things that obstruct your vision, giving you an idea where they are and letting you actually charge a right click and absolutely end their career before it even starts. Then you have Orb of Harmony, your main healing ability. This is just going to be the same thing as Discord, except it applies to your teammates. And it heals a decent amount, but Zen's not really known for his healing output. It's more so his damage. The roll support passive is massive, especially for Zen. And this is just automatic healing over time as long as you haven't taken damage in a brief like two seconds or something like that. This is insane. I didn't have this back in the day I was playing Zen Overwatch 1, and this is a game changer. Your other passive is also insane. Quick melee damage increased by 50%. Basically, your melee is going to be doing a lot more damage than usual. It's called Snap Kick, and this is going to be used to also launch enemies back. Left click, kick, left click, kick to try and get the Winston off you, the Genji off you, and it discombobulates them. And it also does a lot more damage, especially if they're discorded. Zenyatta's ultimate, Transcendence, a massive AoE heal, putting out like 200 heals per second, something ridiculous. And you move faster and you're also invulnerable. You can't die during your ultimate unless you fall off the map. So don't do that. And this is used in a lot of different ways. Most of the time it's used to sort of counter enemy ults like maybe Genji or Soldier Visor. But even then, there are some counters to it, such as Ana anti-grenade, and Genji, if he gets nanoed, he can still one-shot people during trance, if they're good. But it's still a pretty big tool, if used correctly. Don't only ever save it for certain things, like maybe Genji Blade, because they won't always have a Genji, for instance. You can pop trance, and then move quickly, and get to your team and try and heal them, so they survive. And also, walls do block healing, which is rough. I've lost many teammates, because I, I pop trance, I'm on the other side of a wall, and they can't get the heals. This guy absolutely insane. There's no positioning is massive with your ultimate, and keep in mind of where your teammates are, because sometimes teammates don't run towards your trance, and you have to freaking ping pong back and forth between them. It's annoying, but it's a massive tool. And other times, you can also use it to keep yourself alive. You can get freaking hooked by hog. You can pop that trance for the hook lands. If it gets shattered, pop trance, and that's it. We've got the clip. Wait. I'm upset. A lot you can do with this ability, and it is like one of the biggest skill caps of the character, or skill gaps rather, of Zenyatta. Now, I've been so kind handing out Zen tips here and there already, so if you want to, leave a like on the video, comment, and let me know who I should make a video on next. But here are some general tips for Zenyatta. Know when to swap. Most important tip of Zenyatta is to know when to get off this character, because he's not always going to work. Zen does not always work. There's times where you need more healing, and you need to be the person to do that more healing. Swap to Moira, Ana, Baptiste, other options. Or you're getting dove like crazy, you're constantly dying. You're not getting any damage done with Zen. Zen's healing is not good. If you are not doing much damage on Zen, you're not you're also not doing much healing, so you're better off playing a different support. I suggest Moira most of the time. She's Freaking easy, and also very strong. The way I use my Orbit Discord is to try and keep it active at all times. If it's not, I will shoot my shots, whether it's primary or secondary fire, and then immediately Discord and keep firing. And I'll just keep doing that. 
you can try and communicate or just make sure and get in the minds of your teammates and figure out who to discord during fights. If you have a Winston on your team, they will almost always dive supports or go for a Genji. Discord the supports or a Genji or someone that you know they're going after at that time. Be aware of whenever Discord gets removed by maybe a Moira Fade, a Kiriko Protection Suzu, and keep it active. 25% extra damage is massive. Keep it active as often as you can. Orbital Harmony, same thing. You want to keep it active at all times. Do your best to put it on someone that needs it. And again, you can fire and then orb. Fire, orb if you have to. Most of the time, it's best to have on DPS that are hard to heal for your other healer. Like maybe again, a Genji. He's always in the, the conversation. Or a Fara. Most healers will have a more difficult time healing them. In your case, it can be active at almost all times. But both these orbs, Discord and Harmony, are removed if LOS is not active. Line of sight. A monumental tip for Snapkick is it actually cancels your right click, or I guess your secondary fire, if you're charging it. This is big if Genji's in your face and you're charging right click and he knows. You don't want to fire it. He'll just deflect and kill you instantly or get you low enough where he can just dash right click kill you and you're just finitoed. Maybe a Zarya's in your face and you're charging it and she bubbles. Try not to shoot her and give her a freaking instant full charge from that one bubble if you can help it. Doring Zin's ultimate, you can block damage from enemies and your teammates can shoot through. It's the best of both worlds. And just like Genji, when you have one ammo remaining, it's always better to use secondary fire if you don't feel like reloading because you can actually get five orbs for the price of one. Pretty insane value right there, not gonna lie, brother. Zenyatta matchups, what you wanna have in your team and what you don't wanna be playing against. For your team, it's good to have a dive hero or two like a Winston, a D.Va, maybe a Genji, a Tracer, whatever the case, discord the back line, have them get rolled by your team, and press on. It's pretty much that simple. Basically, have folks that can hit their shots and play their roles correctly, and Zen will be very fun to play. You also want to have a support that can keep you alive when necessary, because a lot of times, you'll get focused as Zen, and that goes into who you don't want to play against, which would be like a dive cop of some kind, D.Va, Winston, Genji, Tracer, if they're just diving you non-stop and you're just non-stop dying, you want to go to a different support that has better chances of surviving. If Genji's giving you a hard time, play Moira. Sometimes you can actually handle Genji as Zen, even though you shouldn't be able to. But if you're nuts, bro, some Genjis don't want the smoke. Other times, those Genjis will just deflect your whole right click or secondary fire directly in your face and you die instantly. Unideal. Uh, you also don't want to be playing against Sombra. Sombra can just hack you and you die almost instantly. After she gets nerfed, it probably won't be as bad, but I still don't think it's the best thing since sliced bread. If you're playing versus double main healer, as in Ana Moira, Ana Baptiste, Moira Baptiste, and the enemy tank just isn't dying, maybe you should swap to a different healer that's also a main healer and keep your tank alive as well, because tanks right now rule the game. If tanks don't die, the enemy team with the tank just wins, and Zen doesn't do the most healing possible, so if you also aren't getting picks as Zen, it's not going to be uh, smooth sailing at all. It's going to be very rough. Rough seas ahead for a foreseeable future. And Sigma. Sigma can just block all kinds of damage, make it where you don't get any sort of uh, trance buildup whatsoever, and your ult can be huge. It can be a game changer. Realistically, Zen plays well with any comp as long as you're getting value from the character itself, whether it be discording folks and you're just doing enough healing, your team isn't running low on heals, and if they are, maybe they can swap to folks that have self-sustain, like Roadhog, uh, May. Where did you go? Seems like it's been soldier if it fits the current game and what you need. If not, maybe you should swap a Zen player. But it is fun playing Zen, and it's also great playing against Bastions and also with Bastions and anything. Like, I don't know. Zen's a fun character, man. I like Zen a lot. If you can't tell, he's a fun dude. But what do y'all think? Is he cool? Is he fun? Is he difficult? Easy? What are your thoughts on that? In any case, you have a beautiful day. Catch you later. Peace. They went monkey. Yeah, he's kind of. Game now. Damn. You guys traded. I don't have blade for trance or 